Yo, what is up guys, Dark Beast here and today we're going to be talking about Season 7 Week 4 challenges that we'll be releasing in just a few hours. We all know that Epic releases new challenges every week in Fortnite, usually on a Thursday, not sure why, and there are 7 challenges released. 3 that are free and the rest are for only people that are paid for the Battle Pass. So, for Week 4, the challenges have been leaked so this means that the challenges could change in the future so... Uh, if it's wrong, you can't complain with me, okay? That's a little disclaimer before we start. But anyway, make sure to use my support creator code DARKBEASTYT, all caps. Like the video, subscribe for more, and uh, let's get into this. Okay, so the first free challenge is actually a stage challenge. The first stage is to destroy chairs. Now, I, I don't know how many chairs, but it says destroy chairs. Stage 2, for the free also says destroy wooden utility poles the final stage is destroy wooden pallets so that's the first challenge of the three free challenges the second challenge is to find letters search letter O west of Pleasant Park that's stage one stage two search the letter S in Wailing Woods stage three search the letter M in Dusty Divot stage four search the letter N under a frozen lake and the final stage is visit Nom's sign in Retail Row. Now we all know Nom's in Retail Row. Those letters obviously they spell Nom's. Not in the right order. But that's how Epic wants to do it. So. And the third challenge is pickaxe damage. We're not sure how much damage you have to do. But it's a hard challenge and will give you 10 battle stars. So we're guessing it's a lot. Alright. Now let's get into the battle pass challenges. The first battle pass challenge will be eliminate opponents at all expedition outposts. The second battle pass challenge is eliminations at Happy Hamlet or Pleasant Park. I'm not sure how many uh, eliminations they want you to do. I'm going to guess 10 because it's usually 10 with these type of uh, challenges. Another challenge is to launch fireworks. So for this one, I'm guessing there'll be fireworks around the map that you can launch. A bit like how uh, you can launch those clay, clay pigeons. Use an X4 Stormwing plane in different matches. So they're forcing you to use the most broken thing in the game, basically. So that's quite, that's quite easy. Um, now at the start of season seven, we saw that the nom sign was removed, and we now have a challenge where players are required to find all the letters uh, for the nom sign and return them to the original place in Retail Row. So maybe, maybe us finding these letters will return noms to Retail Row. We don't know. Okay, so now we're going to go about how we're actually going to complete all of these challenges, step by step, one by one. Here are some simple tips to get them all done. Okay, so destroying the chairs, that's pretty straightforward. Check houses, look for chairs, smash them up. The utility poles, if you're not sure what they are, they're actually those wooden uh, poles that you find near Tomato uh, Temple. Uh, on the way out of that little tunnel, you'll find loads of them there. Finally, destroy wooden pallets, that's quite simple enough. We all destroy pallets in the first place to get mats anyway, so you should probably know some nice spots. I personally go to Junk Junction and places where there's ramps, because there's usually loads of pallets underneath ramps. Searching the letters for the shop noms will be quite simple as well. If I were you, I'd search up some sort of location guide on where to find each and every uh, letter. If you want, like this video and I'll do that myself. I'll find the letters for you and uh, we'll sort that out. We have a rough idea, west of Pleasant Park, Wailing Woods, Dusty Divot, under a frozen leak and obviously in Retail Row. So that should be quite simple enough. However, because this is a stage challenge, you can't do it all in one match. You have to break it up into different games. To get the pickaxe damage done nice and simply, all you have to do is wait to the end of the bus route find some AFKs and start whacking them as soon as you jump out. Wait till the very end when the bus has to kick you out rather than jumping out yourself. That's the best way to do this. Eliminating opponents at all expedition outposts is going to be one of the harder ones because they don't all have loot and they are very very spread uh, apart. At least if they were close together you could have done them all in one game but these places are they're spread out quite a bit. I mean you can find one at uh, Paradise Palms, some at Easy Links. You're not going to be able to do them all in one game unless you've got a plane, and even then, it's hard to get all those kills. So, you're going to have to do that in quite a few games. If not, jump in some uh, limited time modes. That's probably the easiest way to finish the challenges. 
to get your kills done in Happy Hamlet and Slash War, Pleasant Park, the best way to do this is to pick up a weapon as soon as you land and just start shooting anywhere. There will be noobs all over the place trying to get their challenges done too, so make sure you stay staying active. Eyes open, look alive. It's based on skill really. If you're bad at the game, the bad at the game, you're not going to be getting those kills. But of course, everybody has made it this far, so I don't see why you can't get those kills. Let's get active. It is labelled as a hard challenge, however, it wouldn't be that hard if everybody's going there. Simply pick up a weapon. Simple boys. And girls. For the launching fireworks one, I have absolutely no idea what is going on with that. I can't lie to you. Uh, I'm guessing they'll add something to do uh, with fireworks. We'll, ha we'll have to wait and see. Finally, getting an X4 Stormwing plane in different matches. This is probably the easiest one to do. Get in a plane. There's one right there as you can see on Luke's screen. But yeah, jump in a plane. That's it. That's done. It says use as well, so you may have to be the one uh, actually flying the plane. I'm not too sure, but I'm sure you can jump in squads to be honest and uh, just get a ride from your friend. But yeah, those are all the challenges. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful, informative. The challenges may or may not change in the next few hours, but we'll have to wait and see. Do leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, guys. What's the bet that we got this dub, by the way? Watch the rest of this video to find out.